If you can play, if you can play, if you can play, you can play. The message is just that simple, and that's why the Hamilton Bulldogs have become the sixth AHL team to sign the You Can Play pledge to ensure equality, respect, and safety for all athletes without regard to sexual orientation. Uh, my late brother was openly gay. He was the student manager at Miami University in Oxford, Ohio, and he had a very positive coming out experience. But what we found uh, the more LGBT athletes reached out to him and the more LGBT athletes we heard you from uh, after his accident, uh, we realized that that wasn't always a common story and that there were a lot of LGBT athletes who were struggling. The Bulldogs were one of the first AHL teams to reach out to You Can Play wanting to get on board. If an athlete is gay, so what? It, it doesn't matter. And I want them to feel comfortable in that environment. They shouldn't feel bullied. They shouldn't feel that they are not part of the team. It doesn't matter. If you can play, you can play. Scott Haggart is an openly gay athlete who is now sharing his story to promote awareness. When you're in the closet and any time, any time gay comes up with people around you, you're, you're overanalyzing everything they're saying. And so if, if your friend starts, you know, saying, uh, dropping the F-bomb and things like that, then you start to analyze that and you immediately say, like, this person's going to reject me. Um, and that's, that's a really, really hard thing to go through. And so uh, we need to be conscious of things like that. As Scott says, there will always be sarcasm in the locker room, but it can be done without making people feel intimidated and unaccepted. We're not aiming to turn the locker room into a kumbaya loving, you know. What we're saying is there's a lot of, a lot of words that you can call someone to try and put them down, uh, jokingly or not. They don't have to be racist, they don't have to be homophobic. Patrick Burke says the response to You Can Play has been extremely positive. When they first launched last March, all of the NHL's general managers were eager to get on board. Now as they move into their second year, they've got AHL teams, college sports teams, and the Toronto FC, just to name a few, involved with this project. And they look forward to adding more professional sports leagues. For more information, you can head to youcanplayproject.org. For Sportsline, I'm Candace DeVay.